services, which I think points to the need because a lot of people don't know the different things that we offer. And uh, one of the things, and every time I go to the PLA or ALA, I find some database service that we have that, yeah, and, and they're promoting all different ways to use it in terms of resume building. So what might be interesting in, term of, is in terms of just sort of packaging that is if you're looking for a job, you know, you've got Resume Builder, you've got that teaming up with uh, some of the resources and the books are just putting together online mm -hmm. resources in place to find a job, investment, retirement, trustee, caregiving, just some of the most popular topics. Mm -hmm. but to find a way to promote those databases to make it a little bit more easier to, so, to see how they do it. I don't think it's done yet. And then all Although most voters, and this gets back to what we're doing right now, although most voters are likely to support library funding at the local ballot box, fewer are committed to, de to definite support than a decade ago. So that sort of declined a little. And most voters still do not, do not realize that the primary source of library funding are local taxes. Mm -hmm. So I think if you want to, I think it, it was there because I went on the website, looked at it, they've got the webinar, and they've got a great infographic. So. I'll, the infographic will be in there, but you've got the link to go look that up. And that is some great stuff for Stuart and I when we, when we get to communications. Uh, communications yes. the okay. of this. And then a lot of things that we talked about when we were doing a strategic plan as being a safe ground to have to talk about discussions. And if you go look, some of those things are happening. Uh, I think in terms of telling truth from whatever, you know what, it was down there, Factor what was that? Fiction. Factor fiction. But two libraries in Chicago, in the Illinois area, gave different presentations as some things. And Skokie was well represented in a lot of the things they did because I think the, the director was the assistant and putting on that conference. <laughs> but one of the things they did is twice a month, they've got about three different things. If you go to the website, you'll see it, and the presentation will have it. Sometimes they'll just have librarians set up a kiosk and just sort of engage in communication and bring people together to talk. Then once a month, they do a, uh, something at the table where they bring people together to talk. Mm -hmm. And so one, they, once a month, they may do a national issue and then once a month, they will do a local issue that may be impacting the community and bring people in. Hmm. And they had, and, and they've got it all online as to what they've done, and that uh, presentation will show. The other one that was, uh, I thought, pretty good was recruiting, and that's basically that was re, uh, refuting the idea of neutral, supporting civic engagement and information in the library. You also had libraries aren't neutral programming and resources mm -hmm. for the political climate. Arlington Heights Library, as well as Gail Borden Public Library District, did that. And so there are tons of ideas of ways to do it. And I know that in the kids' library, they do that little mini election process. <laughs> and so a lot of them are doing it. But there are a lot of ideas like that, where you, I think, engage, but you're neutral in how you right. become neutral mm -hmm. and show what the truth is. Some other ideas. Um, they have the big idea and the attention merchants, the epic scramble to get inside our heads by Tim Wu was an excellent presentation. And that might be an interesting book discussion, as well as doing some programming, and I'm not trying to take over programming, so you shouldn't see me to tell it, about, you know, the mindfulness of kids as well as adults in terms of what the you know, what always has happened with from advertising to the current sure. state of Facebook and that in terms of how they monitor it. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was an interesting book. And mm -hmm. so you got a brief description. And then the other one is creativity grants. One library allows staff to pick innovation grant winners based on their presentations, which helps foster more engagement. And that might be interesting to create uh, some type of not contest, but in terms of getting staff engaged and maybe, you know, in terms of doing ideas, doing a presentation, having ways that you measure it to get new ideas generated. So thank you for allowing me to do that. And if I figure out how to send those, the files were rejected when I sent them earlier because it was too too big. I put oh, yeah, them in a yeah, Dropbox. Yeah, yeah. So now I've got to send it, yeah. figure out how to send it to Cynthia. What, uh, just to pick up on this creativity grant, um, I've always been interested in what staff picks 
for those things and once in a while we'll get a list of the, the grants mm -hmm. and what they are but I'd almost like to have a more updated um, pre not presentation but report of what the staff is involved doing because I think that's that's really cr creative things that they think of and what they do and I, I think as a board we should know about that and, and perhaps some way of validating that. Well, thank you, Lisa. Um, Ginny, landscaping. Okay, I'll be brief because you addressed some of it about um, meeting with the IFS construction managers, but basically we're moving forward on the landscape project and the next thing we'll be doing is um, having a meeting with Tesca to review the 50% bid documents. So we'll be needing to schedule a meeting. Um, I think we're looking at May 29th and May 30th. Um, uh, no, May 30th and 31st. 30th and 31st, yeah. <laughs> um, so I hope people will be available to, um, I, 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 to do. Jenny, I sent you, I right. just sent you an email today okay. about the date for that. Okay. It's been finalized. It's been finalized. Okay. What is the date? The 31st. 31st. It is the 31st. Okay. That's good. But basically, we're moving ahead and, you know, it's going to take the time it's going to take. But. Right. And Dan, you wanted to discuss parking. Right. Yes. Um, so I think I don't know what month it was, two months ago or three months ago when this came up, but uh, we discussed the parking lot, and I think the original plan was to sort of uh, put a landscaping border around our lot, uh, and it raises the sort of perennial question: what to, what are we going to do about this parking lot disaster? Uh, I think it's an opportunity for us to um, ask the village formally, uh, maybe more publicly, um, that we would like to uh, make their lot look nicer. Um, and so I drafted a letter, I sent it to the committee. I understand the committee didn't get a chance to discuss it at the meeting, but uh, it's here, and I thought it'd be a nice opportunity for us to say um, more formally to the village, we're fixing up our exterior, and we'd like to fix up the lot that everybody thinks of as the library lot, too. So um, will you let us fix up your lot? And now, so here's Woody, a draft letter. And, I yeah. have a, we're fixing up the lot that we don't own and have no guarantee other than the rental spaces. Uh, I don't see why we would make that investment. Yeah. I think it's their responsibility to even that pavement and to fix it up. If we owned it, we should fix it up, but I don't see why we would fix it up other than if it's a safe, yeah, if there's some safety issues where it crosses there. That's just my opinion. I think there's another issue as well. Um, <clears throat> I was incredulous that after a major construction project, the village would allow the contractor to get away with not repaving the entire alley. Their trucks didn't mm -hmm. fly in. They drove the full length of the alley. Right. And the damage that occurred is still visible. Um, the deterioration in that lot was accelerated by, a, by decades. That whole entire area needed to be repaved. And they did a patchwork job, which looks awful. It also is going to deteriorate from its present condition very quickly. The village hasn't met its responsibility to maintain that as a safe alley and a safe parking lot. So, you know, if we participate in something collaborative, it's going to require that we also have the authority to maintain it and to, and to keep it in good repair. The village has been, we've made that offer many times, and the village has been extremely uncooperative in, you know, in that regard. So, you know, it's a, it's a staging point for, um, for continuing the discussion, but I think the village has not met their responsibility. Um, they did not have the contractor uh, do a proper job of repairing the damage that the construction, I'm not saying, I mean, any construction project with the heavy equipment that had to be used is going to create damage in an alley like that. And they didn't properly address that, and it shows. 
The um, <coughs> big issue I have is, is, is different than that. Um, the lot is pre presently, the lots is presently configured. As you mentioned, the four curb cuts, two for us, one for the village lot, and one for the post office drop, which is actually village property too. Um, so the village is village property to our lot. That I'm sorry, did the village, owns the, village owns the postal service lot too. The it doesn't own the postal. Service it, only it owns the, the drop. Right next to it the owns that out that that lane with the drop. Got it. Um, the big problem with doing anything with that lot, and this is what we sort of discovered, which is why we ended up at one point with the Postal Service with the deck. You either leave it almost exactly the way it is, except presumably without rutted asphalt, um, with the same four curb cuts, so it looks just as unlovely um, as it would right now, but better off now. If you actually try to redesign it um, to take out some of the curb cuts, what you do is you lose parking spaces. So you end up with, yeah, it might look prettier, but you're going to actually have less parking. And given that we don't own the property, <coughs> I just don't see that I mean, yeah, okay, we stick a potted plant at the end of the, I don't know, whatever. I mean, we did that. But you, if you either do something fundamental to make it look nicer by redesigning so you have some internities, in, you lose parking places, or you leave it ex pretty much exactly the way they are, it is right now, in terms of design. May I have your attention, which, please? For your reference, I brought the designs when we actually tried to do this. Um, and it looks just Thank as you. sort of unlovely as it does right now. Now, I don't see how we can spend, and really want you to talk about ripping up and do, redoing asphalt, even without changing the curb cut. You're talking about a ton of money for property that we don't know and we have no assurances. I mean, there's never any harm talking to the library, to the village. Um, and that was essentially the conversation that I had last June with them. Same thing. Will you, will you sell it to us? No. Will you work with us to do one lot? We'll get back to you with a design. Well, it's about a year later, and there's no back design. I, I don't know. Right now, my feeling is talk to them about running some places in the new lot they're doing, because I don't think they're interested in doing anything. Because, I mean, I talked to them a year ago with exactly that. A, we'll buy it, we won't sell it to you. Okay, B, let's work together and do something. We could, we could improve it, but not a ton. The aesthetics can't improve a ton without losing spaces. We did participate with the village many years ago Just in a redesign. <laughs> it was expensive. And it, rep and, and it resulted in no increase in spaces. And depending on the design detail, it was either even or a few spaces less. And the judgment of both boards was that it wasn't worth spending that much money to get that much less. It wasn't, it didn't look like a good investment. Um, the problem frankly, is that the village still has a comprehensive plan that envisions that lot as becoming a park. And despite having put a building or approved constructing a large building on a part of what they envisioned as a park, they still have that vision. And it has not occurred to them that if they make that a park and they move Actually, the comprehensive plan specifically talks about moving farmer's market there. Well, that would mean that the only parking for farmer's market would be our lot. There is no way that's an acceptable plan to any of the library users. But I don't think that the village board has acknowledged that. It's their comprehensive plan. They created it, and they still are in love with it. 
And so until such time as they have a different perception of the library's users, who are mostly Wilmette residents, um, and the importance of the library to the library's users, we're not going to get much response from the village that is going to be useful to our patrons. Well, here's what I would say. <clears throat> and again, I'm the new guy, right? Well, I've been in town for three years, or four years, or whatever. I mean, I... Let me, let me say this. Okay, all um, right. Clearly, we could fix the signage, right? Clearly, if we're going to make the landscaping better on our lot, we could make the landscaping better on their lot for not a lot of money. And clearly, we should do something fundamental. We should have a big picture conversation. But it's sort of more incumbent upon us, I think, to sort of drive the conversation because we care more about it, right? It's, it's really important to us. Our patrons use it every day. It's a disaster. It's a mess. So it's more incumbent upon us to continue to be the unrequited you know, lover and keep asking for, you know, let's get together and fix this. So I think since we are doing in external landscaping on the lot, it would be incumbent upon us, I think, to send something public and transparent and change the language any way you want, but, like,